a lot of hard work went into making the first film, and a lot of people don't really keep in mind that you shot a lot of that twice. Uh, once with Aristotle, once with Michael, Michael J. Fox. And what I was wondering is, um, were you kind of, that being your first big film, were you kind of terrified after that happening that you might get fired too, or, you know, that, okay, there's enough footage of me without Eric Stoltz in the shot, that, okay, they don't, they're not going to fire me. I didn't have that confidence at all, and I, th I was very fearful that I would be fired at any minute. <laughs> Honestly. I, I have some of I Some of the same. I was worried about that for the first day of shooting. Yes, I, I was. Yeah. You just don't know. I would, this was my first big... I just didn't want to blow it. And, you know, so everyone says, oh, there must have been funny Back to the Future stories. You must have a million of them. I really don't have many because I was really trying to memorize my lines, not make mistakes, do a good job, you know, not bump into right. anyone so that it would be great. And so that I, I wouldn't get fired because, you know, Eric was doing it and, and we're filming and then things, there was something wrong, but I didn't know what was wrong, but there was clearly, there's something going on. And then, uh, and then they stopped production on a particular day. We're not going to shoot this day. And that was very strange. And I was at home and I was thinking, are they, is the whole movie going to stop? Is that why people were nervous? Are they going to just pull the plug on it? And then Bob Gale, a producer, writer, called me at home, said, Tom, could you come down to the studio? We would like to talk to you. <laughs> it's me. I'm getting fired. I really thought that. It was the longest, longest drive I've ever taken in my life. I said, Bob, please, just tell me on the phone. I'm get, we'd like to tell you in person. We'd like to talk to you. I take this long drive and I'm thinking, and I'm thinking what we think, you know, don't blow the, just stand up and say, well, I thank you very much for the opportunity. And then I'll move to Alaska and work on one of those crab fishing boats, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. It'll be, fin that'll be it, you know. And they took, um, they took me in and said, we, we have some bad news. Like, oh, yes. We've had to fire Eric. It wasn't just, I said, will you say that again? <laughs> Uh, we've had to fire Eric and we've, we're casting Michael J. Fox and we're going to go back and redo all these scenes that, that we've done before. And I said, you, and I said, I get paid for that, right? <laughs> they said, well, yes, yes. And you'll still have free snacks? You know, yeah, there'll be snacks. Yes! So, and then we did the whole, we did, you know, the, the weeks of filming again. Yeah, yeah my, I, I didn't have for, for knowledge that that might happen. And I didn't smell it. I just didn't get any sense of it. Um, Eric Stoltz was a good actor. He was acting good. And, you know, I, I, I just didn't pick up that there was something wrong. Because they wanted somebody with a comic flair, and Eric doesn't innately have a kind of a comic this about him, so they had to have Michael. And they'd also tried to get Michael before they started filming Back to the Future one, but he was tied up with his television show. Yeah, and it didn't seem like it could work out. But when they, so it was like one o'clock in the morning uh, out of the set in the city of industry, in the parking lot, with all that start, beginning stuff happens. And they asked us to come back after lunch, which is 1 a.m. or something like that, and to some place. And everybody was there. Spielberg was there, and blah, 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 you know. And they made the announcement. And I, I was like, oh, my God. I felt that every day was... Uh, a maybe day, because I was still I was still trying to get my bearings with uh, Doc Brown. I was still trying to find him, you know. I gave so I really put a lot into every shot for six weeks, and I thought, oh my God, I've got to do that over again. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just like, ah, <laughs> uh, but it worked out, and I had, didn't have to do every shot. Over again, and then and, and then it was really apparent the chemistry with 
Michael just suddenly yes. came alive. So we only have time for